Hello, Malcolm. Are you going into town? Your hair's looking long. Are you going to the new barber's to get your hair cut? No. Oh, I bet you're going to Joanne's. Careful she doesn't cut your ears off. You have a safe journey now. What on earth happened there, Malcolm? Those people were really in a rush to get a bargain, weren't they? You're looking very squashed. Hopefully somebody will come along soon and they'll be able to help you. Well, hopefully. Oh, it sounds like the mayor's bike. Hello, Mayor. I see you still haven't got that bell fixed on your bike yet. Do you think you could help Malcolm? He didn't vote for you, and you can't help him? Oh, Mayor. Oh, dear. Goodbye, Mayor. Oh, well, that wasn't very helpful, Malcolm. Maybe somebody else will come along that can help you. Hello, it's PC on the job and PC World. Are you on a busy mission today? You're after Slippery Sid. Oh, has he escaped from jail again? Oh dear, Malcolm. It looks like they're too busy to help you as well. What are we going to do? Hello, it's Slippery Sid. I say, Sid, Malcolm here's had a terrible accident. Could you take him to hospital? That's very kind of you. You're looking very well, Malcolm. That was very good of Slippery Sid to take you to the hospital and to pay for your treatment. We were certainly surprised when he did that. Jesus tells us a story in the Bible called the Good Samaritan and it's exactly the same story that happened to you. The person that was least expected to help, helped out. I think Jesus would want us to do the same thing to help others when we can. It doesn't have to cost us anything to do that. This is called being a good neighbour. Are you heading off now, Malcolm? Well, thanks for the day. Take care now. <coughs> <sighs>